I'm Kevin Rusink. Uh, I'm senior welding engineer here at Ingalls Shipbuilding. We have so many different types of not only processes but also materials. We have Navy and Coast Guard contracts. We build several different types of Navy ships from uh, destroyers which are the smallest ship that we build to uh, LHAs which is the largest uh, type of ship that we build here. It's around 850 feet long. And then we have some Coast Guard cutters too, which are a little bit smaller than the um, destroyers, and that's for the Coast Guard. So it's 100% military contracts right now. With those vessels, there are many different types of materials that are used, and, and the, the structures are very complicated. So it takes kind of a unique skill set to work here. Not only that, it takes a unique type of equipment to work and survive here because we're right on the Gulf Coast. The equipment that we use here has to really be able to hold up. My name's Benny Porter. I work for Ingalls Shipbuilding and I'm a welding technologist. The WCC system is a through the cable control of voltage that we have uh, purchased from Miller. What we were looking for is, is the welder having access to be able to set his welding machine wherever he was. We have a lot of areas where he's a long ways from his power supply, and he would have to get and go back to the power supply to set his voltage every time. So we wanted to, for him to be able to set his amperage and voltage on the wire feeder. In the panel shop where we have the WCC systems, they're mounted onto a uh, gantry that goes up over the panels. For the operator to change their parameters, they would have to go to the side of the line, climb up the ladder to get to where the power supply is to change the parameters. This shipyard is a very difficult environment for any piece of equipment. It, any piece of equipment that we get in here has to be uh, durable, it has to be rugged. We've got a very high, high temperature, high humidity, high salt content environment. Um, we have to move, we have to, the equipment that we get has to be mobile. It's got to be, it might have to go from the flight deck of one ship down to an inner bottom of another ship. Inevitably, it's going to get dinged up. So we, it, it's got to be built such that it's going to be able to withstand the rigors of a, of a very difficult, rugged shipyard environment. As far as the reliability too, uh, I mean we cut, well, like I say, we had the first 24 and they've been reliable. There's usually bugs in systems when you first put them out, but we hadn't found any in these. No major problems at all. And what it allows a welder to do is be more productive. If you got a new assembly that you got to start welding on, you got to mess with your parameters a little bit to get it tuned in. If you had to walk up the ladder 20 steps or however much it is, every time to tweak your parameter a little bit, you you're going to waste a whole lot of time before you can get started on your project or you're not going to do it at all. So from a productivity standpoint, it does have a significant impact on our production.